A countrywide controversy is now affecting the Ozarks. Some people upset about Bud Light's partnership with a transgender social media star. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Lauren Barnes. And I'm Mike Landis. Great to see you tonight. Well, now an Anheuser-Busch distributor's event featuring Clydesdale horses was canceled this week, citing employee safety concerns. Fox 49's Parker Padgett live tonight in downtown Springfield. Parker, you spoke to one of those bars affected and they're not too happy about this. Yeah, Finnegan's Wake posted on social media that they are disappointed in this cancellation. They say the distributor reached out to them and said that there were threats against their workers. Now, this follows uh, recent events after the beer giant partnered with a transgender influencer sparking Budweiser boycotts. I talked to other bar owners and LGBT leaders who say this shouldn't be a controversy at all. It's very disappointing. I mean, I think the Clydesdales was a big deal and a lot of people were talking it up. I know some of their other visits, excuse me, some of their other visits around town. I saw texts and emails that people were very excited they were coming. So I think that's really disappointing. They're, they're amazing animals, so I'm disappointed. I was going to go check them out. Jim Wilson, the owner of Best of Luck Beer Hall, says he serves Anheuser-Busch products and plans to continue selling them. He says the outrage over Bud Light's partnership with trans woman Dylan Mulvaney isn't a big deal to him and that he tries to provide an inclusive environment and hasn't heard any complaints or issues with Budweiser products on his menu. I spoke to a leader in the LGBT community here who says he's happy to see the partnership but is skeptical whether Bud Light is doing it in support or for money. I think it's positive, right? You have a, uh, a corporation that is starting to elevate or uplift a uh, marginalized community. I think that's beautiful. But I always get a little skeptical because oftentimes what happens with these corporations is they'll highlight, you know, whether it's, you know, the rainbow flag or Black Lives Matter and do very little to actually contribute or help those communities beyond just putting them or plastering them on their products. Finnegan's Wake says in that social media post that they'll continue to support Anheuser-Busch, its representatives, and trans rights. Reporting live in Springfield, Parker Paget, Ozarks First.